Okay, here we are with how to draw a tree. I'm going to start at the bottom of the page and make a long curving line like that. Make another line like that. And I'm using purple because I like purple. And we get one that goes down like this. <clears throat> then we're going to take the brown crayon. And you know, trees are not really brown. So I use a little bit of brown, but I actually like what the purple does better than I like what the brown does. But, <clears throat> and as we get on with this, we'll see there's all kinds of things you can do when you're making a tree. Now this one's a little bit straighter than I usually like them, but when I put the purple, if you look outside your window right now at the uh, <clears throat> trees outside your house, I think what you're going to find is that they don't look brown. They look kind of gray. So, but I'm just going to try and get some little bits of color in there. Now when I go over this with brown, I get a pretty interesting color. And you see I'm making texture in there? Trees don't have perfectly smooth bark. Their bark is all craggy and have edges to it. So you can use your crayon like this. Get that, okay? You want a little bit of a highlight. I'm using this color called Goldenrod over here on the one side. Now that tells me that the sunlight is coming from that direction, okay? And now here we go. Oh, look at that. It looks like it got rounder too, doesn't it? <coughs> so, now we'll start coloring a little bit. And I'm finding this kind of rounding look really helps make it look more like you got leaves. So I'll just do a lot of that. And this can make your hand really tired, especially if you've got old hands. I just go around and around and around and around and around. And up and down, up and down, all around. It doesn't, the trees aren't even. They go, they have ups and downs in the way the branches are. <clears throat> then we get the outline. We'll get over this. Some of those. Now, because I'm moving right along, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what that looks like after you've done it for a while. You see? <clears throat> and then you can go back over it and you can fill it up with more branches if you think it needs more branches. I got all kinds of little branches in here that I put in afterwards. And I think that gives you a pretty good idea of how to draw a tree.